Urgent message from keeper of sacred white buffalo calf pipe. Mitakawasan, my relative. I, Chief Arval looking horse, of the Lakota, Dakota and Nakota nations, ask you to understand an indigenous perspective on what has happened in America, what we call Turtle Island. My words seek to unite the global community through a message from our sacred ceremonies to unite spiritually, each in our ways of beliefs in the Creator. We have been warned from ancient prophecies of these times we live in today, but have also been given a vital message about a solution to turn these terrible times. To understand the depth of this message, you must recognize the importance of sacred sites and realize the interconnectedness of what is happening today, in the reflection of the continued massacres that are occurring on other lands and our own Americas. I have been learning about these important issues since the age of 12 when I received the sacred white buffalo calf pipe bundle and its teachings. Our people have strived to protect sacred sites from the beginning of time. These places have been violated for centuries and have brought us to the predicament that we are in at the global level. Look around you. Our Mother Earth is very ill from these violations, and we are on the brink of destroying the possibility of a healthy and nurturing survival for generations to come, our children's children. Our ancestors have been trying to protect our sacred site called the Sacred Black Hills of South Dakota, heart of everything that is, from continued violations. Our ancestors never saw a satellite view of this site, but now that those pictures are available, we see that it is in the shape of a heart and, when fast forwarded, it looks like a heart pumping. The Dine have been protecting Big Mountain, calling it the liver of the earth, and we are suffering and going to suffer more from the extraction of the coal there and the poisoning processes used in doing so. The Aborigines have warned of the contaminating effects of global warming on the coral reefs, which they see as Mother Earth's blood purifier. The indigenous people of the rainforests say that the rainforests are the lungs of the planet and need protection. The Gwich'in Nation in Alaska has had to face oil drilling in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge Coastal Plain, also known to the Gwich'in as where life begins. The coastal plain is the birthplace of many life forms of the animal nations. The death of these animal nations will destroy indigenous nations in this territory. As these destructive developments continue all over the world, we will witness much more extinct animal, plant, and human nations, because of humankind's misuse of power and their lack of understanding of the balance of life. The indigenous people warn that these negative developments will cause havoc globally. There are many, many more original teachings and knowledge about Mother Earth's sacred sites, her chakras, and connections to our spirit that will surely affect our future generations. There needs to be a fast move toward other forms of energy that are safe for all nations upon Mother Earth. We need to understand the types of minds that are continuing to destroy the spirit of our whole global community. Unless we do this, the powers of destruction will overwhelm us. Our ancestors foretold that water would someday be for sale. This prophecy was hard to believe. The water was plentiful, pure, full of energy, nutrition, and spirit. Today we have to buy clean water, and even then the nutritional minerals have been taken out, it's just clear liquid. Someday water will be like gold, too expensive to afford. Not everyone will have the right to drink safe water. We fail to appreciate and honor our sacred sites, ripping out the minerals and gifts that lay underneath them as if Mother Earth were simply a resource, instead of the source of life itself attacking nations and using more resources to carry out destruction in the name of peace is not the answer. We need to understand how all these decisions affect the global nation, we will not be immune to its repercussions. Allowing continual contamination of our food and land is affecting the way we think. A disease of the mind has set in world leaders and many members of our global community, with their belief that a solution of retaliation and destruction of peoples will bring peace. In our prophecies it is told that we are now at the crossroads, either unite spiritually as a global nation or faced with chaos, disasters, diseases, and tears from our relatives' eyes. We are the only species that is destroying the source of life, meaning Mother Earth, in the name of power, mineral resources, and ownership of land. Using chemicals and methods of warfare that are doing irreversible damage, 
as Mother Earth is becoming tired and cannot sustain any more impacts of war. I ask you to join me in this endeavor. Our vision is for the peoples of all continents, regardless of their beliefs in the Creator, to come together as one at their sacred sites to pray and meditate and commune with one another, thus promoting an energy shift to heal our Mother Earth and achieve a universal consciousness toward attaining peace. As each day passes, I ask all nations to begin a global effort and remember to give thanks for the pure food that has been gifted to us by our Mother Earth, so the nutritional energy of medicine can be guided to heal our minds and spirits. This new millennium will usher in an age of harmony, or it will bring the end of life as we know it. Starvation, war, and toxic waste have been the hallmark of the vast myth of progress and development that ruled the last millennium. To us, as caretakers of the heart of Mother Earth falls the responsibility of turning back the powers of destruction. You are the one who must decide. You alone, and only you, can make this crucial choice, to walk in honor or to dishonor your relatives. On your decision depends the fate of the entire world. Each of us is put here in this time and this place to personally decide the future of humankind. Did you think the Creator would create unnecessary people in a time of such terrible danger? Know that you are essential to this world. Understand both the blessing and the burden of that. You are desperately needed to save the soul of this world. Did you think you were put here for something less? In a sacred hoop of life, there is no beginning and no ending.